wide range in COVID-19 symptoms from a dry cough to COVID toes. But some of the most common symptoms, the loss of sense of smell and taste. 17's Eliana Capian joins us now with more. Eliana? Alex, loss of sense of smell and taste for a while was the telltale sign to be aware of if you think you might have COVID-19. For most people, this was the most difficult symptom to deal with because of the effect on one's quality of life. Now, some patients are dealing with the loss of taste and smell long term, and doctors say studies are still being done to try and figure everything out, but not much is known yet. My name's Alexa. I had COVID back in the end of October 2020. My name is Brittany Wallace. I had COVID back at the end of December. My name is Dina Council. I had COVID in November of 2020. Alexa DeLugo lives in Italy. Brittany Wallace lives in Alabama. And Dina Council lives in California. All three women are COVID-19 long haulers and have one major symptom in common. So the only symptoms I currently have right now is still like a change of taste and smell. Like that's the long one. And I still don't fully have my smell back, but what I do have back is a little change. Certain things that I taste don't taste like what they are supposed to taste or what I know they are supposed to taste like. All three women reported the change in their taste or smell after they were diagnosed with COVID-19. And to this day, they're still experiencing Just changes in their test. senses. Plus, all three specifically mentioned picking up a particular odor. I smell this weird, like, chemical in some foods that I smell in, like, cleaning products or shampoos. In my own COVID-19 experience, this chapstick and this perfume have the same smell as this clear nail polish. But what's causing this weird phenomenon? Dr. Amalika Mangad says about 80% of COVID-19 patients suffered from a loss of taste or smell in one way or another. While they have it, this is the most common symptom. It can take up to two weeks to get better and some patients can unfortunately be suffering from this for up to six months. The loss of taste and smell is considered a separate diagnosis from COVID-19. Although much isn't known about why the issue has persisted for some patients past the time they were diagnosed, it has been seen in other upper respiratory illnesses. So there's a lot of research that's ongoing regarding what may be the issue. Usually what we are thinking is that there's inflammation that still may be present, um, maybe around the receptor or the nerve endings, and that may be leading to this. Um, also, if people have uh, other things going on, such as upper respiratory tract infections or seasonal allergies, anything that causes inflammation in the upper airways and around your sinuses can lead to worsening of this. Currently, Dr. Munga says TikTok trends like burning an orange peel don't seem to be the solution. However, some doctors on TikTok believe it could help retrain the olfactory nerves in your brain and nose. But for those not on TikTok, there are other options, like decreasing things that can cause inflammation, such as getting seasonal allergies and chronic sinusitis treated. Doctors are also recommending patients stop smoking because that, too, can cause inflammation. If it's persistent and it's more than six months, then you can possibly have imaging done, CT scans and MRI to make sure there's no other reason for the loss of taste or loss of sense of smell. Otherwise, some people have tried a course of steroids to help decrease the inflammation and that may help. But otherwise, it's just hydration. That really is going to be the number one thing, maintaining hydration so that there's moisture there and the nerve endings and receptors can become active again. Dr. Munga says there was a small study done that showed those experiencing loss of taste and smell was seen in patients that had less severe COVID infections. But she says this was a small study and research still continues. Here in studio, Ileana Capian, 17 News. Yeah, I know a lot of people are still struggling with this. And that was the one thing that so many people realized. I know a lot of friends who didn't have any other symptoms but the loss of taste and smell. Yep. And that was what triggered them to go get the COVID test and sure enough, it came back positive. Well, I'm curious because she said after six months, would it go away? Has anyone in the group of women that you interviewed had it longer than six months? No, and so that's the okay. issue that they've run into. All doctors are saying, you know, most people caught this at the end of the year so that six months isn't even up yet. So that's their estimate right now. Only time will tell. So yeah. theoretically, those who got it sick this last surge in the wintertime, either December or January, they could 
have those senses, you know, gone for yeah. several more months, yeah. essentially. Until, I guess, mid middle summer. Yeah. Very it's interesting. Rough. Yeah, it's interesting. And Not yours is coming back kind of piece by piece, right? Yes. So I have most of my sense of smell back and taste. The only thing is that I experience a change in my sense of this taste. So, like I said, that nail polish, the perfume, it all smells the same, and it's really odd and so uncomfortable. Strange. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks so much, Ileana. We Thank appreciate it.